So to start things off, this Ford Explorer is kid trashed and it is completely destroyed, but we're gonna resurrect it and make it look like brand new by the end of this video. So subscribe if you guys are new and you like these sort of content. Also, thumbs it up for the YouTube algorithm. Before we even get into the video, thumbs this video up. And the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start out by ripping out the entire interior to get to all of the dirt and grime inside this Ford Explorer. So this week we're going to do another $100 Amazon gift card giveaway and the way to enter in is just comment down below your favorite sweet treat. For me personally, maple bacon donuts from Duck Donuts, by far my favorite. So comment down below and I'll pick somebody randomly for next week's video to win that $100 Amazon gift card. This is exactly why I pull out all of the seats and the details I always do because this is what you get to see and you get to get all the dirt out that you wouldn't be able to typically get to with the seats in the car. But yeah, this thing this thing needs a full extraction of the entire carpet. And I will say that uh, Ford carpet seems to lose the dye color very, very quickly. So a lot of the carpet looks dirty and it will be extracted and cleaned up, but you'll be surprised to see later on how much of it is just faded away in the carpet dye, the black dye has just lost pigment in the carpet itself. So there's not a whole lot you can do except for replace it or spray paint it or dye it if you will. But we'll get to that later. I will say that this is probably my favorite part of the details is kind of pulling out the larger debris and larger trash out of the car because this is where you find the gems, the most interesting objects that get accumulated inside vehicles and stuck underneath seats. Um, this one didn't have anything too interesting, but I have found jewelry, find tons of coins and money, which reminds me I have to announce the winner, which I'll announce later on in the video from the last one where you guys guessed how much change I found in that car, and I'll announce the winner of that $100 Amazon gift card. Like I mentioned earlier about the dye wearing out of this carpet, you can see the high traffic areas, especially along the door sill here where that black you know, dye has kind of faded from the carpet itself. Even after vacuuming and extraction, you guys will see later on. But um, at that point, that's where dye kind of comes in or replacing the carpet. But for this one, just vacuuming, it always does, a ten, you know, does an amazing job of restoring your car. So when it comes to maintaining your own vehicle, I always say vacuuming is like number one priority. It can make your car look amazing really, really quickly.
For all these interior panels, I'm just using my diluted uh, all-purpose cleaner to wipe them down, get into all those nooks and crannies with my detailing brushes, which you guys can pick up on foxclean.com. I will be having drill brushes launching very soon, and I know a lot of you have been asking about the super plush large microfiber drying towels. Those are going to be back in stock really shortly, along with those super plush general purpose towels as well. So join that mailing list, stay on the lookout for those, but for right now, pick up those detailing brushes and pet hair detailing brushes uh, that you guys love to use on your details as well at foxclean.com. And for everyone wondering, I do not have a twin. This is just my fun with editing, which I do enjoy adding a little bit extra here and there. So if you are wondering, I do not have a twin brother. When it comes to floor mats, the easiest way to get those clean is just vacuum. You spray on your you know, all-purpose cleaner or your carpet solution that you're going to use. Use your drill brush to kind of get all that dirt moving around and then pressure wash them is the easiest thing to do. I've also found out, and I've never used them before, but I know at like Blue Sky Car Washes in Ohio, some other ones might carry them, but they have floor mat cleaners where you slide them in and they kind of clean them for you. 
I don't know how well they work, but I did see them the other day and I wanna definitely test it out so that way I can let you guys know if it's an option for you if you don't have a pressure washer. Um, but I highly recommend use a pressure washer because the dirt gets so embedded in there. There's not a whole lot of easy ways to get it pulled out of there with an extractor without spending hours of work. So um, that's why I recommend definitely pressure wash them if you can. One request to the owner was to clean the car seats as well, which some people have their own you know, position on how you should tackle this job. For me personally, I've never had issues with just vacuuming them out and then pressure washing them clean because then you're not using any soaps or any chemicals whatsoever and you're just getting all of that liquid and goo that kids get on their car seats lift it off the surface, just pressure wash it off, and then I let them sit out in the sun to completely dry. So there's no disassembly, there's no chemicals used, just water, which honestly most of the time car seats get wet anyways. Um, so this was the easiest way to clean these in my opinion, and just hit them with the pressure washer. Now, if you watch my channel in the past, you've seen me use this tool. This is called a rake, and a rake is a great tool, especially a metal one, for using it as a squeegee to get all that excess water out of your floor mats and then set them outside in the sun to dry is the easiest way to get those things clean and dry.
for this car, I did not pull out the carpets, obviously, as you guys can see in these extractor shots, but I did extract the entire carpet all the way around. Um, but the reason why I didn't pull it out is for one, I was a little bit troubled and it took me a little bit longer than I expected to try to pull the center console. There's some cables and other things that I just didn't feel like messing with from a, uh, just a personal standpoint. Um, but for the most part, I try to pull the carpets if I can, but in this case, I decided not to, um, just because of the size of it and all the brackets and everything else that we're going to be limiting how much time it would take to pull them out. So stuck with it, leaving it in the car and just use my carpet cleaning solution and then my extractor with hot water to remove all those stains and all that dirt and debris. Now here is the lovely hot chocolate or iced tea, if you will, that was uh, extracted from all those carpets. But if you're wondering how I dry the carpets themselves, I always just shut the doors and then I have a fan that I set up on the side of the car to blow air into the car and then it comes out the front side. So that way you're getting that circulating effect and that's the easiest way to dry carpet is always just airflow. If you have carpet or your fabric seats, airflow is the easiest and best way to get your carpet and seats dry.
on some of these leather seats, especially the rear bench ones, there was more stubborn, stubborn stains on them or goo attached to them. So I used a all-purpose cleaner initially, and then once I got all those stains out and all those different uh, gunk and goo off of them, I pulled out my leather cleaner specifically because it is better for leather to use a specific leather cleaner. Um, once I used that, then I topped it with my leather conditioner to condition the leather and give it that moisture that it needs to not crack over time. Now for this center console, I definitely had a theme song playing in the background, which was Gym Class Heroes Cookie Jar, which is an oldie, and if you've never heard it, it's, it's kind of a fun song. Um, but once I vacuumed out this center console area, it gave me a better idea of that white goo that's kind of dripping down it to get it clean and just use an all-purpose cleaner once again to, to clean that thing up. And for all these little bits, I showed this little trick last time is taking one of the Fox Clean detailing brushes and putting it in your drill chuck. It works well as kind of like a mini drill brush, if you will, to get into those cup holders and those circular patterns. And also for this one piece, it had some really stubborn just ice cream or yogurt or whatever. So I had to use a screwdriver or a pick, if you will, to kind of get into those seams to kind of remove it after letting it soak for a little while to get it completely uh, cleaned up.
And the winner of the last week's $100 Amazon gift card is Panna Giradini, which I hopefully didn't butcher that too bad. But go ahead and reach out to me on Instagram through uh, private messaging and I'll go ahead and get that Amazon gift card over to you. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, enjoyed these after shots. The thing turned out amazing. I was really happy with the results and the customer was really happy with it as well. Um, you guys always ask about reactions. I don't use those anymore just because of the fact that sometimes the comments get a little bit nasty for those people and I just kind of keep that private. So uh, for right now, we're not going to be doing any uh, customer reactions on this channel. But once again, guys, subscribe if you're new. Give this video a huge thumbs up. It helps a ton make this channel possible. And I'll see you guys next week.